Good morning, folks. I'm seeing a lot of sunrise videos calling Venus Nibiru, calling Sirius Planet X, and the rest of these, including the well-known Orion, seem to be mistaken for a mini solar system. I prefer the current sundown show, two nights only, folks. Have you seen this? Giant waves were pounding Chile a few days ago, and I've not been able to find a good explanation other than just a random set of big waves. No major issues reported, but certainly worth taking a peek. If by geoengineers propose an experiment, they really mean, here's what we've been doing for years, then yes, this is a true story. I found this by accident looking for lunar magnetics articles. It's Jupiter's magnetosphere and check out the plasma torus around the electromagnetic pinch point. If your mind didn't immediately jump to symbols of an alien sky, you haven't seen it. It's my number one Nibiru possibility and it's the first link below. Here's those lunar magnetics I was looking for. Moon's got an ionosphere too, like Earth, and like Earth, it has an atmosphere, albeit helium as they claim it, but they say solar wind might be putting it there. Wonder what particles you think it puts into our atmosphere? Water? Nah. Staying on that topic, I've mentioned sprites before, told you they're heavily tied into star water, the critical over-ionization of Earth, and noctilucent clouds. Good read here. Have a look at the rain over Ireland and northern UK, you see how she moves? That's the spin of this isolated low, keeping the heat over Europe for the time being. Also Gordon is fizzling out. A bit of odd news, we have cattle with anthrax in both Ukraine and Israel. Believe it or not, four to five inches of rain fell on parts of Jacksonville, Florida yesterday in one hour. Volcano eruption in Ecuador is no joke. Multiple cities are covered in ash and it's still going. Blue green algae found at Buckeye Lake, not far away from me. You can see down below they predict Isaac to become a level three hurricane. Let's investigate a bit. This high pressure in the Atlantic will guide it towards the Caribbean for now. The water is relatively warm, suited for development. The one X factor is the shift in the upper level pattern. Hopefully Isaac will go north into the Atlantic and pull what Gordon did. Solar activity is on the floor. I called it, right? wrong. This is important. Just because the earth isn't taking shots doesn't mean the sun's not flaring. Another huge backside blast there. The solar wind speed, up at the top, is dying back down as the coronal hole stream ends. All magnetometers are quiet and the shields are holding. We finally have some SDO images back up. I hope you can see this minor filament eruption in the center. Could give us a glancing blow in three days. We have yet another coronal hole set to face Earth over there on the left. The watches ramp back up tonight through Friday. I'll leave you with a look at current Earth-facing sunspots and their magnetics. That's the news, folks. Be safe.